The time now, it is 7 o'clock in the morning time on this Thursday morning, August 21st, 2014 on a Thursday morning. Time now for the Water Magician PJ wins the Motto Report. Thursday morning, August 21st, 2014. Get, get out of the to the morning. Good morning to you all this lovely Thursday morning. Here are current conditions at 7 o'clock here in North Massachusetts. 57 degrees on temperature with humidity 93%. Winds of speed is barometer 3.08 inches, 2.55 degrees invisibly at visibility at 10 miles. Okay, let's take a look at our radar scope and it shows us some two areas of precipitation. Some rain showers off the rather than off the southeast of course, and then attacking the to sea. And a line of rain showers from what from north central Long Island and then stretch to the western Connecticut, western Massachusetts. Upstate New York from Albany, that's our sort of springs out for Vermont, and stretch it up to upstate New York and out for western Quebec, and then out the northeastern portions of Ontario, and up in the northern Ontario, western Quebec, here in north central Ontario. And a lot of rain shots in the north central portions of Pennsylvania, and out of the northwestern Pennsylvania, running Erie area, and a lot of rain shots of our northeastern house, east of Cleveland, there, and zoom it out, and it shows up. Line of rain shots off the South Carolina, Georgia, and the northern Florida coastline. It's funny rain shots off the northern Cuba, southern Florida coastlines there. And a line of rain showers and storms from western Ohio, down for northern India, down for northern Illinois, and around the Chicago area, and northern Iowa, down for Minnesota, and then stretching down for eastern and western portions of Nebraska, and the north central portions of Kansas. And a line of rain showers and north northwestern portions of Mexico, and a lot of rain shots from eastern Nevada, northern Utah, Idaho, and stretching it down for Montana, and down for Southern and northern portions of Alberta, down for southwestern and southeastern portions of Saskatchewan, and then southern portions of Manitoba. Is that a sleet and snow and west central portions of, of Alberta? Yep, that it is. That's a snow and sleet mixing with the rain showers about the southwestern portions of Alberta. Vulcan Canada. Good morning. 54 degrees. We're for recast, guys, here, and we're taking a look at the Chicago radar here, and it, it shows some moderate light to moderate bands of rain around the Chicago land area here, and some yellows and oranges, which is a few rebels of thunder around Chicago Heights, and Tinley Park, and then searching out of Crownport and Cedar Lake in Illinois here. And this is a orange and yellow that says bands of showers and thunderstorms around East Rockford, and after Lindenwood, and around Genoa and Hampshire, and gonna time the storms here, and they're gonna be in. The Chicago land area about 45 to, uh, 45 minutes or an hour from now. So, those of you in the Chicago area are going to have a wet, wet Monday morning commute to contend with here. And let's see if this. And take a look at the Minneapolis radar here. That's Twin Cities radar. And it shows. Oh my, a lot of showers and storms around the Minneapolis area. City limits here. It's stretching to Brooklyn Park, down to the Shepland and the Noka here. And up to the Ramsey, and those of you in the Minneapolis St. Paul area are going to have another wet bottom commute on tap. Like those ones in Chicago here. Okay, take a look at Salt Lake City, and it shows some spotty rain showers by the Salt Lake City area here. Okay, let's take a look at our map situation here. Take a look at our satellite loop here, and it shows. A line of clouds coming in from Maine, stretching into much of northern New England, and out from much of New England here, stretching up into Quebec and out of eastern Ontario. Here. And a line of clouds coming in from western Kentucky and Tennessee, stretching into Ohio, Indiana, and up in northern Illinois, western Wisconsin, and out stretching into Minnesota, and up into Manitoba, and into stretching into eastern portions of Nebraska here. And a lot of clouds coming in from western Mexico, and a lot of clouds from western Arizona, stretching into from Utah, northern. Nevada, Duffy, Eastern Idaho, Duffy, Wyoming, and Duffy, Montana, Southern Alberta, Duffy, Saskatchewan, and Bunch of Clouds, Eastern Nebraska, Southern Iowa, here, Atlanta Clouds, coming from Louisiana, Southern Western Texas, and Duffy, Mexico, here. And take a look at our map situation here. Cold front from Montana, Southern North Dakota, and up to Manitoba, and a cold front from New Mexico stretching to western Kansas, a station front from Alaska, down from South Dakota, and a warm front down from Minnesota, a station front from Iowa, stretching to Illinois, cold front from Indiana, stretching to Ohio, down from Pennsylvania, western Pennsylvania, and a warm front from Pennsylvania, stretching to New Jersey, down to sea, and a pink front from western New York, and stretching to down to Ontario, and a front line from northeastern Ontario, down to Quebec, and a front line from northern Michigan, eastern UP, Michigan, down to Ontario. 
photo buyer from Coastal Carolina has an eye from Georgia, and a photo buyer from Western Texas to enter the Northern Mexico, and a photo buyer from Western Arizona, and the Gulf of California, and a photo buyer from Eastern Utah, a photo buyer from Nevada, and from Idaho, and a photo buyer from Oregon, search in the Eastern Washington, and Purdue. Southwestern Alberta and the front of my off the northwestern portion of California. One front off the western Washington coastline here. 63 degrees at temperature in the Boston at 69 out in New York City, 72 in Washington DC, 64 in Pittsburgh, it's 69 in Detroit, 71 in Chicago, 70 in Minneapolis, St. Paul, it's 70 out in Omaha, Nebraska, and Kansas City, Missouri, it's a pair of 80s in Dallas and Bradsville, Texas, it's 69 in Atlanta, 82 in Miami, it's 85 in Phoenix, Arizona, 64 in Albuquerque, 61 out in Denver, 67 in Salt Lake City, 76 in Las Vegas, 67 out in Los Angeles, it's 61 in San Francisco, 55 in Seattle, and 54 out in Great Falls, Montana. Here, current conditions man, we engineers, 63 degrees of temperature right now, Boston, we get in summer, 59 in Pittsburgh, 54 in Bedford, 51 in Lawrence, 57 in Beverly, 59 in Gloucester, 61 in Worcester, 58 in Sturbridge, 60 in Webster, 49 in Norwood, 54 in Taunton, 58 out in Bedford, it's 57 out of Plymouth, 64 in Parkside, 67 in Chatham, 64 in Falmouth, 67 in Cape Cod, Bay, 63 in Marshall, Virginia, and Nantucket, 64 in Boston Harbor, 63 in Balkan, 58 in and Wesley, 57 in Smithfield, it's 65 in Springfield and in Amherst, 64 in Greenfield, 62 in Pittsfield, 65 in North Adams, 66 out in Albany, 65 in Bennington, 61 in Brownsburg, and Keene, New Hampshire, 58 in Jaffe and Hampshire, 53 in Concord, Hampshire, 55 in Madden, Church and Hampshire, 57 in Joshua, 53 in Portsmouth, 64 in Winslow, and in Hartford, 62 in Meriden, 64 in Waterbury, Connecticut, 65 in Danbury, New Haven, Connecticut, it's 70 out of Bridgeport, 60 out of Long Island, 66 in the Mount Tuff, and it's 72 degrees here in New York City here. Take a look at our forecast discussion here. Slight risk of severe thunderstorms across portions of the middle of Missouri Valley, southwest, eastward across the portions of on the Great Lakes and the Western Ohio Valley, and every rain possible in the portions of the Ohio Valley, Central Appalachians and the Southern Middle Atlantic States, and heavy rain possible in the portions of the Northern Rockies and High Plains. Our persistent boundary extended across parts of the upper Midwest and the Ohio Valley, and in the mid and the level of the upper level impulses trains into the region where moisture rich pollen air over to the north area. Front Friday, the shots and tests are developed oh, along the head of the front on Thursday and Friday. Meanwhile, an upper level disturbance throw will roughly over the Northern Rockies will. Have a minute that the service is moving front the trail while up south for lane the producers and showers and thunderstorms over the parts of the Great Basin and the Northern Rockies High Plains as well as parts of the Northern Plains front Friday. In addition, higher upper level energy over the Southern California Southwest will move northeastward into the central Southern Rockies by Friday evening and the showers and thunderstorms will develop over the parts of the Southwest expanded into parts of the Great Basin by Thursday evening and the showers and thunderstorms will move to the Southern Central Rockies on Friday spilling over the parts of the Central Plains by Friday evening, the fair more general stability of the Apple moisture will aid in producing showers and thunderstorms over the parts of the Florida Front Friday here. Okay, let's take a look at our Today's severe weather outlook here. A slight risk of severe weather. Slight risk of severe weather from southern Minnesota, northern Iowa, down to southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, northern Indiana, western Ohio, and southwest Michigan. Some larger population centers and risk areas Chicago, Illinois, Indianapolis, Indiana, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and Cincinnati, Ohio. Rail, hail, damage, and winds. A low chance of isolated tornado can't be ruled out here. And take a look. And a forecast discussion here in New England here. A s s few showers expected across mainly the western half of the New England front early Friday, drier, cooler wherever falls. This weekend a warm up is possible wet next week prior to it. I'd tell the pattern ahead of a photo of the three that started for half of the Canada. Our tail of two low-pressure systems will define the weather front the day-to-day one at upper level disturbances currently weakened in association with a warm front. Expected that we may to the west and other is a slowly deepening weak wave of low pressure. Expected to slowly move east to the 4070 benchmark into the weekend. This latter is brief, feature remains. We can expect to find an inverted trough evident in a flow pattern hanging back toward the island. It is expected to have a little effect in the region. Only expect a few shots in front of Bailey. Nantucket front about the afternoon time frame and the former upper level disturbance continues weakness 
It interacts with a block full of pattern to cut off high pressure to the north of the fact. It'll continue the transition from a weak cut off to open the wave front to the day. Full trip for the column. About seven New England remains weak with both of the low level jet systems remaining well to the west front of the day. The approaching warm front and modest lift provided by weak differential vortex and medication for the wave will help provide some focus for showery activity to work under the moisture to kill mainly across the connected western Massachusetts direction. The veteran range already in place across the region has also led to an eastern flow which will suppress any attempt at dissipation across the area. Therefore, with the bulk of the energy potential and stability remaining to the west, we'll keep pop. Focus mainly across the extreme western portions of the area as well as least fight the much of the daylight hours. Regarding the temperatures with a fair amount of the cloud travel expected for the day between those two systems highs are likely to remain below normal in the low to mid 70s here. And let's take a look what is going on in the tropics here. We are watching this system here. We're watching this system. Shout out to the Thunstone Stretch with an elongated area of low pressure, a few, located a few hundred miles east of the Windward Islands. That's changed a little in organization during the past several hours. And environmental conditions are expected to be conducted for development for the next couple of days and eight. Tom dimension could form while the system moves west northwest with about 10 to 15 miles from across the Lesser Antilles and but over the Eastern Caribbean Sea. The amount of this trade of his spell and oil in Eastern Cuba could limit the development during the First part of the weekend, but conditions are expected to be conducted for development early next week when the system is forecast to move near or over the Bahamas here. And regardless of tropical cyclone formation, guessing winds and heavy rainfall are possible across portions of the Los Angeles, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands on Friday and over his battle on late Friday and Saturday. Interests in those islands are should closely monitor the progress of this disturbance in Air Force Reserve. Hurricane Hunter aircraft is scheduled to investigate to the low of this afternoon necessary. Formation checks for us. Meaning about 50% of formation just for five days. High 70% here. Okay, let us take a look at Eastern Pacific here. Shots of thunderstorm activities associated with a broader low pressure located several hundred miles south of the Gulf of Tijuana Protect that have not become any better organized during the past few hours. And however, environmental conditions are connected for development of all to tropical depression are likely to form by Friday. On Saturday, while the storm moves west, north, westward about 10 miles by formation chance for four hours. High 70% of formation chance for five days. High 90% here. Okay, let's take a look at the latest on Trouble Storm Karina here. Settle location 50.6 in the north, 136.2 in the west. Maximum state with 50 miles by movement. East southeast about 2 miles far. And forecast advisory. The latest bubble advisory at Karina here is now. Drifted toward the east south is a little weaker here at location 15.6 to the north, 136.2 to the west here. And that's 1275 miles, 2050 kilometers east of Hilo, Hawaii, about 785 miles, 2870 kilometers west southwest of the southern tip of Kipa, California, Mexico State winds. 50 miles by 85 kilometers and a person movement east south is about 1 to 10 degrees and 2 miles by 4 kilometers of Minimum right central pressure 1,001 mm bars at 29.56 inches. Time no close watch is more in effect here at our 2 a.m. Pacific time, 9 in UTC, the central trouble storm created was. Located in new latitude about 50.6 to the north, latitude 136.2 to the west. The crater is driven toward the east south face at near 2 miles by 4 kilometers an hour. A slow surface face went to the east south face where motion is affected to the fact. Thursday night, followed by acceleration toward the north face by Friday night. The maximum state winds have increased to near 50 miles by 85 kilometers on a higher gas and a little change in strength is forecast during the next 48 hours. Top storm force winds in San up to 60 miles, 95 kilometers from the center. It's made minimum central pressure is 1,001 mil bars of 256 inches here. And the latest on. Lol here. The latest on trouble so low. 19.7 in the north, 121.9 in the west here. Mention state winds 70 miles per hour and moving north west of about 3 miles per hour here. And the latest on low here. Large low slightly stronger. Locations at 19.7 in the north, 121.9 in the west, about 85 miles, 1290 kilometers west southwest of seven tip of Baja California. Mexican state winds. 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers an hour. Movement, present movement, north west of 350 degrees at 3 miles per hour, 6 kilometers an hour. Minimum central pressure, 985 millibars at 29 with 9 inches. There are no close watches of waters affected at 2 a.m. Pacific time, 9 in UTC, the center of Tropical Storm Low, west located to Atlanta, 2 19.7 in the north. Launch 2, 121, put 9 in the west, and Low is moving toward the north, west near 3 miles per hour, 6 kilometers an hour. North west, 
Most of the deaths likely fast for its speed, they expect to during the next couple of days. The maximum same width have increased to near 70 miles per hour, 10 kilometers an hour with higher gusts. Although little overall change in the strength is a predicted day, low could become a hurricane. Before weekend it begins to that, tropical storm force winds can stand out towards up to 185 miles, 295 kilometers from the center. And this may be the central pressure is 95 mil bars of tornado more than 9 inches here. And let's take a look. Today's highs will be 72 for Boston, 69 for Worcester, 75 for Hartford, 80 in New York City, 75 for Albany, New York. It will be 70 for Concord, New Hampshire, 76 for Port Maine, and 68 for Rutland, Vermont. So today's temperature high for the day will be 68 to 80 degrees there. And two areas of potential shower to watch today. Mainly far western New England and the Cape of the Islands front today and the in the west. Creeps further east may affect more of West Massachusetts connected New Hampshire. It could move further east. Predicted by tomorrow here. Take a look at our future cast radar here. Mm. And it's going to be still showering for western New England and up in the southern Vermont, New Hampshire, and up in the eastern New York here. Okay, take a look at our seven day forecast that goes like this. For today, here we are gonna see some puck size got out here. 73 degrees of cold wind becoming dark face about 5 miles by the afternoon. For that, most of the clouds are below 58 degrees of light east wind. Friday, set to church shots before 3 p.m. Most of the clouds got out here. 69 degrees of dark face with about 3 to 6 miles by the chance of persuasion 20%. Friday night, punch about after 11 p.m. above ours. Most of the clouds got below 58 degrees of dark face with about 3 to 5 miles per hour. Saturday, Punta Sky, there's 71 degrees in North Face, with about 6 to 11 miles per hour. Saturday night, Punta Sky, 56 degrees at for Sunday. Most of the Sky, there's 74 degrees at Saturday night. Most of the Sky, there's 54 degrees at Monday. Saturday Sky, there's 77 degrees. Monday night, most of the Sky, there's 56 degrees for Tuesday. Saturday Sky, there's 79 degrees. Tuesday night, most of the Sky, there's 58 degrees for Wednesday. Saturday Sky, there's 81 degrees here. Peter, what a phase of the day. A cloudy Thursday on tap. Peter, Channel News Time is now 7.17. It's time now for a little travel report here. And then it shows Southeast Express. We have the northbound side, a little so from Quincy all the way down to Dorchester here. 93 South and a little so from Medford all the way down through the Zaken Bridge. Toby Bridge on the southbound side of Route 1. A little slow to do some road construction here. Left lane goes on Toby Bridge southbound between Chelsea Curves and Toby Bridge. Total stop and go traffic from Carter Street here. 129 on the northbound side, a little slow from 95 and all, but all the way down to 135 and Needham, doo doo doo. A couple of little incidents here on 128 southbound near East Street in Dedemir, and another incident near Route 109 in Dedemir. And 95 northbound, a little slow from Neposit Street to 120 in Canton here, and 24 southbound, a little slow from 120 in Canton down to 139 in Stoughton here. Mass back to the eastbound side, a little slow from 128 and west at all the way out of Route 16 in Newton here. And Route 3 on the southbound side, a little slow from North Bill Worker down to Bill Worker here on Route 4 here. And 120 on the southbound side, a little slow from Whitefield all the way down to Lexington here. And an exit on 120 southbound near Wilmington here. So 39395 from 120 to the New Hampshire border. 49595 from Amesbury all the way down to. Presence Bay in Route 3, Bullock Fire from Weymouth all the way down to Sagmore, and 28 and 6 of Bullock Fire to the Cape of the Hound. Said all the highways and Renato to move on fire. There. Peter Channel News Time 719. Time now for the Peter Channel News Modern Report on this August the 21st, 2014, on the Thursday morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins, and here's what's happening. There. Top story at 719 is videos show the brutal hit the beheaded of kidnapped American journalist James Foley as well as the latest episode of Barbary carried out by the Lava State of. Eric and Al Shab. Israel moderately to seriously wounded by border in Esco. Slave commanders Mohammed Abu Shabala and Red Al Adar were involved in the Shilly and Golden Abductions here. 
Ferguson, Missouri. Small crowd stage, largely peaceful protests laid on Wednesday over the fatal shooting of the black teenager by a white police officer in Ferguson, Missouri. The cover snacks since rats have erupted over the racially charged killing. Manufacturing actually slowed in the Euro area and China has risen. Political tensions threatened the weakened trade and depth the outlook of the global economy. Atlanta Emory University Hospital announced early Thursday will discuss the discharge of two able patients. Atlanta, as Dr. Bruce Winter, medical director of the hospital's infectious disease unit, will talk about the decision to release the patients during the press conference. In Wilmsport, Pennsylvania, there are ball bashes of the desert kids who have been cruising pitches for the three games spent at home. Chairman in person of 27 Yankees as Marty Davis filled up with Robert by Nevada 8 to 1 first loss of the Little League yesterday. Here. General Electric is announced that it's moving its headquarters for its life science division, GE Healthcare Life Sciences from Piscataway, New Jersey, to a new 160,000 square foot campus at Marlboro, Massachusetts, and rendered at a new headquarters as pictured above. In Jakarta, Indonesia police fired tear gas to disperse thousands of protesters outside the country's top court in Jakarta on Thursday as judges started delivering a verdict into last month's disputed presidential election. Protesters standing in the street as lightning flashes in the night sky at Ferguson, Missouri on Wednesday, August 20, 2014 as a grand dream has begun hearing evidence of the ways of possible charges against a Ferguson police officer who fatally shot 18-year-old Michael Brown. India's most famous prisoner of conscience has walked free after nearly 14 years of jail but found to continue to hunger scrap that led her to prison for attempted suicide or Reverend Senate on Thursday. General Prayuth Chan Oka is expected to accept the nomination of Thailand's Reverend Senate less than just three months after the military coup. Rescue workers battle for Monday for a second day in the search of dozens of people are still missing after torrential rain triggered landslides in western Germany city of Hiroshima that killed 39 people, National Broadcaster NHK said. One or two officers involved in the fatal police shooting in our Walmart is back on the job here. In this photo taken on Monday, August 5th, Tuesday, August 5th, members of the R Student Association gathered outside our Attorney General Mark Dewine's office in Columbus Heart to call the police and saw a video of the fatal police shooting on a man at Walmart in Ohio. Here. In Los Angeles, two teenagers inspired to kill three members of staff and many students at a high school in the Los Angeles suburb were charged on Wednesday with one count each of making criminal threats, prosecutors said. Washington Bank of America is expected to pay more than $6.5 billion in an investigation of mortgage securities that their bank and its units stole in a run up to the financial crisis and deal that could be announced early. Andrew Lamper, who is Sears chief executive officer as well as the largest shareholder, has been selling and spending enough assets to raise cash as he works to bolster the retail digital rewards program. In Washington, senior Federal Reserve officials are increasingly spit out of how fast the U.S. labor market is improving, but a majority still doesn't believe that there's been enough progress to consider all what the altering the interest rates soon in banks in general. Russia shuts down McDonald's flagship restaurant as Russia's first McDonald's truth in thousands when it first opened in Pushkin Square in Moscow in early 1990. In New Daily Week said it expected Willie stated the next generation iPhone. High quality pictures alleged feature the 4.7 inch version of appeared on picture sharing network Instagram. The Love Child books sell Barnes & Noble and Electronic Giant Samsung New Galaxy Tab 4. New Tablet is now on sale this surprise. Surprise Android part novels lab is a standard issue of 7 inch Galaxy Tab 4 running Barnes & Noble Z Reader. In this file, find the ways that effort to vulnerable to self liberty self promotion probably doesn't matter. It's really maybe nibbles, but it packed as colossal. Joseph Gordon Levitt starts a new sequel, Sin City, a Dame to Kill for. A Dame to Kill for is the set in a nasty town where men are bare knuckles and women are barely clothed. Ann and Granny is working on being more covered at Red Covered event, but it still feels super anxious about the MTV Video Music Awards this weekend. The grounds crew work on the field after heavy spring soaked the wiggle field during the fifth inning of a game between the San Francisco Giants and Chicago Cubs on Tuesday as Don Patrol, Urex, driver suit over depth and Chicago Cubs game releases today at Texas Broncos parts of feature chippy moments as Denver Broncos right tackle Chris Clark took exception when J.J. Watt pushed him around with a 1 1 pass. Western drill kept running more than 20 minutes during quarterback. A female named Philip Plump Pipes coastal golden or weaving spider to Royal Botanic Gardens in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Every state should make the spiders bigger. The frozen desert of Antarctica is challenging enough for life. Never mind. Canada should be on the ice band mass, but NBC News reports that a recent discovery by scientists revealed that the water beneath from West Antarctica actually would be swarming. Paleolithic humans in Spain began eating snails about 10,000 years earlier than in the Mediterranean. 
Neighbors said that they revealed snails are an extra food source for ancient humans for their survival and adaptation. In this undated handout photo provided by Medicine Sense Frontiers, local staff and healthcare workers and doctors without borders wear Ebola protection equipment in Liberia. BKS and your who help bring you over to us steady age 95 and sickle cell anemia SEM under 8. High magnetization of 8000X, the scanning electron microwave reveals a blood, blood cells in a sick human male patient with a sickle cell anemia. Take a look at our incident alerts at 25 minutes after 7. Nope, so why? I'm gonna take a look at the pre market here. Take a look at the Morton Stock Market Report here. Dow featured 69.86 up 36. SB featured 1987 up three and three quarters, and Nasdaq features 40, 44 and a quarter up four and three quarters. Here, European markets here. DAX 93 for the down point 80 up 45 but 23. FTSC 6774 point 53 up 1905. CAC 42 CAC 40 up 20 but 85. Here, Asian Nikkei 15586.20 up 121 and three quarters. Shake out 22 3 point 46 down 93 quarters. HSI 2499.410 down 165.66 here. In US markets here, Dow Jones 6979.13 up to the 9.54. SP 500 1986.31 up 491. NASDAQ 4526.48 down 103. In oil markets here, 9236 down 69 cents. Brent 101.37 down 91 cents. And natural gas 3.906 up 83 thousandths of a point. In the gold markets here, 12.8150 down 13.70, silver 19.335 down 162,000, and copper 3154 up down 23,000 of a point here. In the bonds, US 10 year yield 2.4388%, up 11,000 of a point. Germany 10 year yield 1.005%, thousands, up 19,000 of a point, and Japanese 10 year yield 0.529%, down 6,000 of a point. In the FX bonds here, European US dollar 1.3262, up 4,000 of a point. U.S. dollar, Japanese yen, 103.82, up 9,000 of a point, and Great Britain pound, U.S. dollar, 1.6583, down 11,000 of a point. Here, and that is going to be it for the Weather Magician PGL News Morning Report on this August 21st, 2014, on the Thursday morning. PJ with you. Have a good day with a good positive attitude. I'll be seeing you at 5 o'clock. Have a good evening with a good positive attitude. Here, have a good day with a good positive attitude. Here.